Hello there and welcome back to another one of my videos. Yes, the finally the 3D printer has done its evil work. And it's made this. My new 3D printed filter. Or airbox rather. So today we're going to have a little go at trying to fit it on, see how it fits. We're bound to come up with some issues, that's for sure, because this is like a new design. So we're going to be solving problems and looking at problems, probably. So without further ado, let's go and check this out and see what it looks like on a bike. And as you can see, the air filter is actually on uh, in one way or shape or form. Not perfect, I'm afraid. There is more work to be done because we have a little issue with the bottom of the filter touching the, air, uh, touching the floorboard. So that's going to have to be revised. It fits fabulously with the, uh, with the LI side panels that I basically measured it up to. But I forgot about the GP side panels having this cut away here at the front. Right, our first issue is here, touching the floorboard. So that's got to be rectified. So basically, around there. In fact, it should go higher than that. Okay, we'll follow that like that. Might as well just take it all the way to the end of that. Okay, so that needs trimming off. So I'm going to mark up this down here. Okay. So that needs to come back like this. It's a shame, but what can we do? Two modifications. Then it'll fit GP panels as well. And of course that was my mistake, not trimming it for GP and trimming it to LI because with the alloy it goes straight on no problem at all and it's got clearance underneath Okay, when it comes to the air box as well, the original idea was to have the air intake here at the back, drawing cold, cooler air, but we're going to probably draw, as it's been noted, we're going to probably draw dirt and mud and water from the back wheel in there, so that's going to now be closed off, and we're going to put in a new intake in that position. So that's where I want the new air intake so the air will be drawn from panel side so it's got plenty of space there anyway it's got a good two inches of space away from the panel but that will avoid us taking in uh, dirt and water from the back wheel so that's another change that's got to happen and now we're going to have to mark up where our fixing points are going to be because that is going to be all printed into it on the final design so let's work that out. So we're going to have two mountings, one from this position on the cowling coming forward and a uh, rubber mount there and one from this top position of the cowling. So we need to make two L brackets that are going to bolt onto the cowling and onto the back of the uh, 
filter. So I'll make the brackets first and uh, then we can mark up onto the filter. Okay, let's get around the back here, take a measurement. Okay, we're looking at 50 mil from the air box to the back of the mag housing. So we want two brackets, 50 mil long, and then with a uh, an L on the end. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Brackets are flexible, so it does have some flex, so it can take out the vibration. Um, so we'll just pop the cover back on. We've got no filter in there at the moment, because it's still under development. One clip on. Let's that one. Clips. Okay. Filter's on. Oh, well, I suppose uh, the next step is putting it on a bike and testing it. 